Welcome back, beautiful beings. Today, we're going to be using the Paper Studio Beach House 2 from Joann's. And I'll be using these papers. Some are missing. Some aren't because a couple years ago, I made some sea journals and pocket files. But we're going to be using these papers for pockets and for our pocket files. And some I did put on the inside of my journals. And we're going to be making all kinds of pockets. This one is from a Cheez-Its box. <laughs> I traced the circle out of it and then I had this scrap left over and I thought it would make a cute pocket. So I cut the edges so they were nice and straight. And then I measured it for the pocket file and created a pocket. Okay. And I'm going to need four because I have four I'm going to be making. Three will be sea journals and one will be a mermaid journal. And these are the pocket files for the sea journals. Two of them for the sea journals. But yeah, I thought this was a unique pocket. And then I have these. These are tabs off of boxes. And I love the shapes. But they need, I have to cut them down. Because as you can see, they're too long for the pocket files. So I'm going to take these pieces of cardboard and make sure they measure correctly in my pocket files. And I'll be doing four. And these are tabs from different boxes. Two are from Cheez-Its boxes. Boxes. <laughs> And one's from an Ego one, and one's from a Reese's. Reese Puffs cereal box. Hey, okay, beautiful beings. But I'll be tracing them on the inside of these. I'm going to show you how to do that. Here's one. All I'm going to do is set it right in the middle and trace it, and then I'm going to cut it out. But I want to show you, make sure it fits on your pocket file, and we'll create unique looking tucks for top tucks, bottom tucks in the journals or our pocket files. So I just set it inside like that. And I'll be doing that with all of them, putting it in the middle. Then I'll trace them and then we'll have a unique tuck spot. Then I'll glue down the cardstock and I'll probably use the scraps that are left over to glue on these. So it's all used up. So I'll end up with four different shapes of tucks. Now I'm going to show you, I made a bunch of belly bands I'm going to make. And this is from a flyer. I just cut it up and made some thicker and some thinner than the others. It was just one flyer and I did cut it in on the left or the right. So it fits in there perfectly on our pocket files. And then I'll probably end up putting something in the middle of them after I get all the papers glued down onto them. Keep in mind, these are good for scraps too, if you have scraps left over also to glue down remaining scraps on these. Now I have two sets of pocket files for two of the journals and I did go around them with baby powder because I put paint all around the edges of all of them and from, to keep that from sticking together I just put baby powder on them so everything's good and won't stick just remember to store all your journals in a cool dry place beautiful beings and as you can see I did take some of our papers from Beach House 2 collection and glued them down onto colored cardstock This one, I didn't wipe the table down good enough and got some glue on it, but we can just cover that up with a pocket. Okay, beautiful beings, I have another flyer here. And this one, all I did was cut three parts out of the flyer. 
and I did go around them with the corner puncher but I did trim the top too because they didn't fit in, in our pocket files so I had to cut a little bit off the top of the flyer right up here so keep that in mind and I got three and I have to do another one and here's the corner puncher but I have to cut up another one because I need four so I'll probably just have six all together <laughs> And these can be pockets for the bottom, the top, or even the side if you wanted to. And here's another flyer I cut. I went up two inches from the bottom of the flyer and then just cut diagonally right across and came up with two other looking pockets. And these will be nice big pockets for our pocket files. And I did do several of the junk mail flyers, so I ended up with four each for each journal for the pocket files. In this junk mail flyer, I just cut it right up the middle and ended up with two nice size pockets. Beautiful beings, they'll be corner pockets. And this one was a book. I just cut it apart and then I went up the middle and did the same thing. And then ended up with four of this size and they're nice big pockets. We need big pockets to fit a lot of nice things in them. Beautiful beings. And here I'm showing you that you can put them on the bottom left, top right, or you can flip them over and put them on the left top or the bottom right. Whichever way you want them. But yeah, you can create whatever size, whatever shape, pocket you want from your junk mail flyers. And here I got some maps I want to use up. I'm not sure what pocket I want to put them on, but these are from Park Lane Maps, Text, and Ledgers. And I'll show you the book after I figure out what I'm going to glue them onto, but I want a unique shape pocket and one it's going to fit nicely. Now I'm just going to show you all the scraps I had left over for my beach house too and some papers I picked out that I wanted to add that are not scraps that I'll be using on my pockets. And I've shown you in previous videos how to glue these down to your pockets. So I'm not going to be showing that in this video. Okay, beautiful beings. So I'm going to glue all these down and I'll be back. Okay, beautiful beings. I got some coffee sleeves. I glued on some of the scraps and some I just picked out. I put two of the basket weaving on these and I just tucked them in under. I have another video I did completely just on coffee sleeves and I'll put it in the description. I put crabs on two of them and then I chose two tropical plants. And here's the scrap one I created a pocket out of and I just traced them on some of the flyers. Wrapped around one, did it wrap around, went around this one with a marker. And this one, I went around it with paint to give you some ideas. And this one, I sewed around. So you got options, beautiful beings. Paint, ink, marker, or you can sew around, or you can wrap them around. And I think they turned out very nice. These are our four tabs that we traced onto the white cardstock. And then I stuck wells on them. And I went around two with white paint and two with blue paint. And they created beautiful tucks for top or bottom in your journals or pocket files.
Here's another shape that I use often that I created. I sold around, went around with paint on the other one. And the other two, I just went around them with a marker. And I used a lot of the scrap <laughs> on these belly bands. And as you can see, I wrapped around most of them. And they'll make cute belly bands. These are all the wraparound ones. This one, you can use it as a side tuck if you want, because the paper, it's going up, up and down, so I have to use this one for like a left tuck. And these are the ones that we took the flyer and cut three shapes out of and went around with a corner punch. And I got wraparound ones. Ones just went around with marker. And some I went around with paint. And I did sew one of them. These three can be top or bottom pockets. This one can be a side pocket because it has to stand up because of the plant. And the other two can be whatever you want them to be because it doesn't matter what direction they go. These came in handy for the little scrap, just little tabs to put somewhere that you think you need a little tuck somewhere that it looks like it needs something. Then these two can be left tucks because of the pictures on them. Now I'm bringing in our corner pockets and I made three of them way too big. I forgot all about the picture, so keep that in mind. They don't fit, they're too big, so I'm going to have to make a journal out of a paper bag or a journal. I could probably fit these in a journal cover if I make it big enough, but as you can see, they're way too big. So keep that in mind, beautiful beings. <laughs> Pay attention to what direction your paper is going <laughs> so it fits in your pocket files or your journals. A lot of these, it doesn't matter which way they go. Some of them do, some of them don't. This is just from an envelope I glued together. It was laying on the table, so I had a piece of scrap and I just glued it down and sewed around it. Then I decided I might as well show you what they look like in a journal or a pocket file. <laughs> so here you go, beautiful beings. Some have to go a certain way and some don't. They can go any way you want them to go. These are the big ones that I went up two inches before I went diagonally across and they will fit lots of goodies in them. Nice big pockets. Most of them are wraparounds and 
some of them I did sew. And this one is going to have to be a left top pocket because of the print. And obviously this will have to be a right bottom pocket because of the print. And here's our maps. And I used an index design. Looks like index cards that I've used before in my other videos, but I love the maps on this. And I made a whole bunch of them. I made four of them out of our junk mail flyers. And I went around them with paint. I used white paint, I used the light brown paint, I used the dark brown paint, and I used the lime green to match the maps. And these are Park Lane maps, text, and ledgers, and they're 8 by 8 paper, and you get 180 sheets, and you can get these at Joanne Fabrics. And they got lots of different prints. They have different writings, different recipes. They have ads and more writing, cursive, typing, all kinds of different writing. And then they have more ads. And then they even have different types of postcards in them. and old-fashioned looking tickets and cards. And different sorts of paper collage together. And all kinds of maps, of course. <laughs> And they have unique papers that you can use for notepads and notebooks that you can cut out and shape whatever size you want and add in your notebooks notepads. And keep in mind this paper is thin. This is like, these are perfect for the notepads, but this other paper, it's really thin. It's like printer paper. So if you don't like thin paper and having to glue it onto something, this probably isn't for you, but these are great for, you know, just regular notepads or notebooks. And I put these in there so I'd remember to show you. These are from die cuts and I took some of the scraps and I just glued it down to the scrap die cut and made a pocket. And then I'll just glue that onto something heavier to make it a more sturdy pocket. And this is another die cut scrap and I took some paper and glued it down and then I'll glue this on something else to make it stiffer. So I got them all glued down. Now I got to figure out what pockets I want to go in what pocket files in what journals. <laughs> okay I hope you got lots of ideas and inspiration from this video. Thanks for watching beautiful beings. Have a wonderful everything.